ready for a special art walk tomorrow. Enjoy the fourth annual Children's Art and Literacy Festival, bringing downtown Aveling to life with storybook characters. And this year's featured author and illustrator is David Shannon. And starting tomorrow through Saturday, there are lots of fun events going on. And here to tell us more is Burr Thomas from the Center of Contemporary Art. Burr, how are you doing today? Hey. Glad to be here. Glad, glad to have you on. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate it. Uh, so whenever we start these interviews, I always like to say, explain to folks out there who you are dressed as or what you are dressed as and who your, your fairy is over here. Okay. <laughs> our art walk tomorrow in honor of our author illustrator David Shannon is called Shannon's Shaking It. <laughs> and the center's book that we're going to be reading mm -hmm. and... Um, Stimulating a lot of imagination about mm -hmm. is David Shannon's book, Jangles. Okay. About a giant lake trout <laughs> that could <laughs> never be caught. Uh oh. For millennia. He had been in the lake since before the beginning of time. Wow. And this creature here <laughs> represents all of the fish in the lake. Okay. But most especially the trout in the lake. Oh, I see. We've created a space for the kids to come into that will certainly tease their imaginations. Oh, I'm sure. And make it easy for them to believe <laughs> that they are fish under the lake, oh. along with Jangles, the oh. big one. Oh, wow. But the whole art walk is going to be about David Shannon. Mm -hmm. There will be a costume contest at 4 right. in the Elks building. At about 5.30, the parade will roll, and you will see storybook characters from all of the Children's oh, Arts great. and Literacy Festival, mm -hmm. uh, along with any storybook character. So anybody out there who wants to be in the parade uh -huh. can dress up in a goofy storybook outfit and <sighs> come meet us in the First Baptist Church parking lot great. about 5.15. Okay. And get in line and be in the parade. Perfect. It'll be awesome. It's, I mean, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun this year. And again, as you and I were just saying, we're hoping and praying for good weather. No hail. No hail, yes. No hail. <laughs> we are in a no hail zone. Exactly. How excited are you for the fourth annual CAF Festival? Couldn't be more excited. <laughs> and do you like uh, the, the books that they're featuring from David Shannon? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. In fact, we requested that the book Jangles be our book and okay. be included in the festival because for all you moms and dads out there, Jangles represents a moral conundrum. Oh, okay. And the children who, and the adults who listen to this story are mm -hmm. going to get to decide, do they do the right thing? Ah, I see. So, okay. w we always like to include a little uh, morality mm -hmm. with our theaters. So right. Are you, are you excited to reveal to the public the new uh, storybook sculptures? Oh, yes. Yeah. That'll be at the very end of Art Walk. Mm -hmm. The big finale will be the ripping off of the veil right. so that we can see Steve Neve's beautiful work. Well, I know we're all very excited to see what sculptures will be there tomorrow. And I, I'm sure kids and parents are just excited for the CAF Festival to be back. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Well, Bert, I want to thank you for coming on. You guys look great. If you would like to register and join the fun for the CAF Festival, uh, all the information you need is on your screen. And